growing up in Compton, man, it ain't what it ain't what people really expect. It ain't just all bad. You know why you at Corver? Why? Who the man? They named the pork after you. No, they named it after George Washington Corver. <laughs> yeah, he had <laughs> not Uncle Nooski. We got a pool. I don't think I've been out here on this side before though. Probably can see Watt somewhere. We're here in East Los on Whittier Boulevard. Hey, what's up guys, it's a beautiful guy here in uh, Compton, I'm in Carver Park. There's another baseball game going on today between different hoods and uh, just gonna show you around and uh, introduce you to more people from around here. I showed this place last time when they had a game between uh, Carver Park and uh, Hustlers. Uh, today they had a game between, it was Carver Park against uh, Naughty Block. Way it up, man. Little six man GG type shit, man. Living out here, man. It ain't easy, man. Trying to make it out, man. We make go put your mixtape up, man. We got all my boys right here, man. We all out here trying to be successful in life, man. Trying to make a difference for the children and all that, man. Good day out here. We trying to make it out, man. That's all it is, man. You feel me? Lovely park right here. Lovely park, man. Forget the nutty niggas. We just whooped them on way down there. He ain't whooped on Crim Street. He whooped John. That's on Crim Street. They ain't whooped me. What they talking about? They ain't whoop me. Oh, oh great. What they talking about? That nigga yeah, say it wasn't me. Man, he say take it out with them other guys. Yeah, yeah, they over there. With you the hear me? other nine niggas. I've been, I've been, I've been fly all day. You hear me? I don't yeah, know what they talking about. Niggas. I wanted the flowers. Yeah. Just enjoying our that way. Good you know. day. Hey, I've been, I've been protecting the hobbies. You hear me? That's what I've been doing. I've been, I've been protecting the hobbies. You hear what I'm talking about? Whole bunch of family pulling up. Everybody pulling up blood. Yeah. Thousand, uh, thousand comments. I'ma slap the shit out of them on the next vlog. <laughs> thousand comments. We gonna slap one. This is my little cousin right here, Mafia Yerm on the hood. Cause I do his music shit too. Y'all gotta tune in. Y'all gotta tune in and check out. So I'm, gonna, I'm pretty sure he gonna edit some little shit for y'all so y'all can hear his shit on the crib. But y'all gotta tune in on crib. I'm really my little people. Going up, got like 70k on Blue Balenciagas. Everybody saying Blueface stole my shit. He probably did, man, cause I made that hook first. Feel me? But everybody thinking and that. He was a crib first. Growing up, shit, we was young niggas doing our thing right here, just chilling, Old watching it, observing it, observing from the older people. Feel me? That's pretty much what it was, like shit. It's my cousin right, right here. here. You already know Ray Bone, Commodore, Gangsters, Move Gang. You already know I'm coming. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get his shit. He be yeah, rapping too. Bad yeah. Like oh, I yeah. said before in the other vlog, born and raised on both sides. Like, you mm -hmm. feel me? I'm born and raised on that side. Watch, and I'm born and raised on this side of Compton. Real hub and dub baby. Mm -hmm. I've been to that yard too, you feel me? So you know, y'all can't say anything about me. Level three, nigga went one time. <laughs> I paroled though, and I'm here, and I'm happy, you feel me? Hey, tune in to me, feel me? Y'all gonna see something y'all like. Sure. And, it, and if you tune in over there, you gonna see my mama got her little clothes and shit popping. She trying to hide herself. This one of the lightest niggas Every at the park right here. Yeah. Whooping asses here, nigga. <laughs> nigga. That's what we do. Everything. Baseball all game right. going yeah, on. Man. 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 We playing the nutties. We all do a little hood, little league. Oh, no, Cup, couple hoods like tennis, right here. That's it. Grape Street be playing. South be playing. A lot of Compton Crip hoods. Watch hood be playing each other. Everybody support that Crip love. This shit been here though, way before me. Way before me. Y'all just seeing. I'm like a third gener, fourth, third, fourth generation right now talking. It's big generations over me. My mama from here, my daddy, shit. My whole family from right here, whole family. I don't got no bloodline from nowhere else. I seen everybody else in the city rapping, getting big, getting big, getting big. And I'm like, I know I got, I got bars too, so I could flow. So the first thing I did was put my voice on the track. It did some views, it did like 60K with, with the homies, with the homies. After that, I dropped a single. It did a lot of numbers. A lot of numbers. I kept dropping, going up, going up, going up, going up. 
A lot of motherfucking rappers from right here, nigga. Easy E. Well, I'm finna name 2019 rappers. Just LA Wave. You got One Take J, shit, Roddy Rich. Who else? Y'all young, y'all be listening to him. Shit. Blueface, Go Get a KB, Lucky Leak, uh, shit, Fred Blaze, Almighty Suspect. You got EB, nigga. Frosty, Draco, the whole stink team, nigga. It's a whole bunch of rappers from LA right now that's popping because we all just, everybody was just rapping. Niggas be low key leaving out my squad. Man, that's my up right there, Dutch, man. That's my up right here, Dutch, man. All family up here. Hey, Jeez. Where you at right now? I'm a car Uh huh. <laughs> you know where he at? You know where he at? <laughs> who is George Washington Carver, little man? Hey, hey, let me hey, tell you a little story hey, about who George Washington Carver was. Hey, hey, come here. Like little man. Hey, BJ. BJ. Come here. Come here. Come here, BJ. Can't just say you from Carver. I mean, are you at Carver? Come here. BJ, look. You know why you at Carver? Why? Who the man? They named the pork after you. No, they named it after George Washington Corbin. <laughs> yeah, he had. <laughs> not Uncle Nooski. He had something to do with the peanuts. You like peanut butter? Hey, hey every time you eat peanut butter, think about George Washington Corbin. Oh, Long live Pop Pod. My mama right here. It's my homeboy, my brother, Pop. Rest in peace. This is his daughter. His only daughter. That's my only son. <laughs> Me and his wife was pregnant at the same time. Oh yeah, huh? And yes, we love each other. This is us. That's exactly why son. we all family up here. Exactly. exactly. Don't play though. Growing up in Compton, man, it ain't what it ain't what people really expect. It ain't just all bad. You could separate yourself. It's easy as fuck to separate yourself from the good and the bad. You could. It's easy to be a school kid, or you could be a gang member, or you could just be a bad kid who just do bad shit in the streets. You feel me? And do your thing. You can be them three years, whatever you choose. I don't know. You could get forced in this shit though. I'm not. It's always one nigga that's gonna force you. You live in poverty, so yeah, niggas bored. Y'all just y'all think it ain't shit gonna affect you for in the fucking long run, but shit really, shit really makes sense. Like all that shit counts for sure. Niggas got pools and shit. We got boys and girls club. We got a school and a boys and girls club right there, right there and back. You got a park, a school, a boys and girls club. That's all I, that's what, that's what I used to do when I was like four. Four all the way to like 10, 12. And I stopped doing that shit. And what happened, I started going to jail. Cause the nigga just stopped doing, I act like I wanted to be grown. Shit got born. And shit happened, this shit. On me. My little brother right here. He low key fucking up, but I'm, but he gonna, but he gonna get on the right track. It's my little bro too. Nigga almost bigger than me. On me. My daddy was a reputable at this part. His name Jerm, for sure, for real. Respect that name, 100%, because these is kids, and we all come for you over here, on the real. I parole 2018, July. No, not even July, June 28th. June 28th, I was supposed to get out on the 27th. I wrote the judge, like, can I get, can I get my credits that you owe me? I wrote him a respectful letter. He gave my credits, and they let me out a day after, you feel me, I was supposed to get out, but my date was really three weeks before I was supposed to get out, so, still help, nigga went to Centinella, level three, level three for like a good, third, like a good eight months, the rest county, on me, nigga ain't been on nothing since I really came home, I got a couple of jobs and shit, I gotta get back on my shit, but I, for, forever rapping though, we just trying to make something positive to our environment, you know, Pigs stay trying to stop us from what we doing. We just trying to keep the community going on. You know, only way we gonna do that is if we all come together and separate all the bullshit. So you know, we just trying to keep our passion and our hearts keep it going. For real, you know, DG though, Park Star, SNL, Wait SNL wait Mafia. Two time. Two time. Check out my boy Lucky Leak. He got some shirts. We got some SNL Mafia shirts going for you for sure. They gonna say no love, yes, broken heart on them. They out for yeah. sure. Yeah. I would have wore one, but it's all right. Next time I got y'all. Tune in. Next time I got y'all for show for show. My dad never lived with me. Well, he did when I was two, but I was a baby, so I really don't remember it. But um, these my little brothers right here. He got with they mom, but it was nothing for me to ever just call my dad like, "Dad, I want to come over. Like, let me come over there." George, he like, "Come on." It wasn't none of that. He right around the corner on crib. I can go see my dad whenever. George, co-parenting was straight. I waited till I was 18 to start learning how to take care of myself. That's what really fucked me up. That's why I went to jail. I started doing bullshit. I didn't know how to take care of myself when I was like 15. I was on my mama. Or if not, I was gonna call my daddy before he died. One day, I, I was mad as fuck at my mama. I called my, I mean, I told my mama, like, man, I'm finna go live with my daddy. She's like, call him. 
Kalka. He like, pack your shit. Pack my shit. I go live with him for like, I'm there for literally for like 30 days, honestly, like 30, 31 days. On the 30, on the 30 second day, could die. He got hit by a car. Oh God. That was like God like telling me like, you feel me? Go spend your last, you feel me? His last days here, you finna spend these last month with him, feel me straight. Cause I already wanted to live with him, I don't care. We are here in uh, Hollywood today. Easy busy, CC. Uh, we're here for a music video shoot. Just taking you guys with us, gonna show you a little bit of the house and kind of like the neighborhood. This is very famous old neighborhood located in Hollywood Hills. Right off Mulholland Drive, like right, right off of it. I don't think I've been out here on this side before though. We right here doing a music video for a few Russian guys we had met a while back. They did a couple of shows for us. And we were attended to us a few of our shows and our events. So we just come in and say, show the same support. We got my boy right here, a couple of directors. DC. See over there getting their Coca Cola. It's a whole different view. Ain't like this in Watts, I'll tell you that. Probably can see Watts somewhere. A million yards over there, that way somewhere. We got a pool. Models, cameras, everything. <laughs> Big is going live. I think too, but then she has only one. Deal, niggas? Yeah. This is your blue one. Yeah, man, we're live right Душ идешь? В туалет, да. Вот? Там да, человек. Я по-русски говорю, я просто запутываю. That's the upstairs bathroom. Shower. And we just got back from Hollywood Hills doing a little video for my boy Grisha. And we just right here kicking it. Me and my little loaf. And him. My boy back here rolling the blunt. Got my light skin and my dark skin partner right here. Many bitches that won't. This ain't even got different varieties. Yeah, feel me. Ending up a vlog too, but we gonna do a video soon too though. We gonna get it all here. Oh. Hey, he gonna come through. He gonna eat the ass tonight and all that, right? Hey, look, just get off the camera. Yeah, bro. No, but look, 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 but look. We doing a little music video right now. Could we? Uh, could he hit you back? We need the music. What? Don't worry about that. I ain't telling y'all that. I'm in East LA right now, right on Whittier Boulevard. Very famous for the lowrider scene. Right now I'm over here, gonna see uh, my friend who 
now. He's doing the mural right now for the Nike store over here. So we're gonna check out the mural and gonna say hi to her. I'm on day, I think four. Tomorrow's a cleanup day, but we out here. I'm gonna show you a big party scene out here, and uh, it's taking part right now in South Central. Mexicano man, this is my party, United of the Black Skin man, the uni Unity Carnival man, come on, come on, check it out. It's a wrap. No friends got the line done. Yeah, man, they just kept coming. All right. I broke out like, yeah. Yeah, no, 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 you do it. Been doing this for almost five years over here, man, since I was 19 years old, man. Now it's, it's turned into this. We got a special performance for you right here. My boy, Mr. D, about to shut it down. I woke up. Sometime later on, I will uh, introduce you to Memo. He's hosting the party, and uh, you guys will get to know him too. Go ahead. Follow me, motherfucking kisses. <laughs> IG, motherfucking kisses. What do Mother you guys think about the show? It's fucking dope as fuck. We talking about? Yeah, it was pretty dope actually. You come a lot. Wait, yeah, those are the boys. What show. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything else? Not other than having to pay forty dollars. <laughs> forty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> right when we came here, they had a police chase on, uh, I think it was like Normandy and Gage, and we were over here on uh, Gage and Western. Uh, they had like a bunch of helicopters in the air. You kind of separate things that go on and, you know, with your personal life, you gotta have fun and not focus on, uh, on the negative things. I actually got Daisy from over here. Uh, the shelter I got here from is uh, over here on 60th. It's like 60th to 61st in the western, maybe like five minutes from here. I 
parked over here on the St. Andrews. Alright guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, shout out to everyone who, who I've met throughout this vlog. Uh, thank you guys for watching my videos and uh, thank you for all your support. I'm out here on 62nd now. Nigga with a cold plan, oh honey, in my right hand Went down for them burglaries and was getting treated like a grown man Niggas thought they was smarter than me cause it's a setback, but that was the plan Loaded up with a double cup, yeah, I just popped like two Zans And I just fucked two friends, I could never do the romance East side, living A Street, yeah, ask about it, that's my land SNL, that's the mafia, yeah, you niggas knowin' that's my clan Ask about us, yeah, we body body, we'll get you patch and it's nothing Freedom guys who ain't coming home, sending bullet holes to informants Just remember my name And just remember that shit I did If you lost it all in a day Cause I remember just finessing the pack Popping windows coming in through the back